Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and I'm with Solved.Cloud. And today we're going to be talking a little bit more about how to customize the product configuration screen in Revenue Cloud. And so if you haven't seen the last video, make sure you go check it out where we discuss how you can make your own custom version of the product configuration screen flow and how you can customize it and even assign it to certain products or product classifications. So today we're going to be talking about a few more updates to make it a little bit cleaner and more usable in a Revenue Cloud. So let's jump into Salesforce where we have this test code up with two products, the Laptop Pro Bundle and the Laptop Basic Bundle. Right now I have a custom product configuration screen flow set up and assigned to the Laptop Pro Bundle, but I just have the default assigned to the Laptop Basic Bundle so that we can use that as a comparison. So. To show you what we will walk through today, um, Salesforce just released in the last Revenue Cloud update this compact mode toggle. Where when you enable it, you can see that it makes some changes to the product header, the child products and how they display, and the summary. So you can see that when you toggle back and forth, it makes it compact. And so if you're like me, you might look at this and say, well, I don't like this standard view of the summary at all. I prefer the compact view where it splits these fields up instead of this standard field, standard mode. And so we're going to show how we can set this to always default to the compact mode and still allow these to change with the toggle. The other thing that we're going to show is how to update this so that instead of showing in tabs, this can show in an accordion view which can be a lot cleaner. So let's jump over to that flow. All right, so I'm on my custom version of the product configuration screen flow. If I click on the screen, you can see a lot of these standard sections. A couple to call out is this product configurator product header. This is what controls what shows here for the bundle name and, and photo and fields. And then we have the option groups. This is what controls how the child products show. And then finally, for the summary, we have the product configurator, configurator summary here on the right. And so, like I said before, we want to update this so that instead of toggling, we want it to just be compact. And so you're right in compact right there. Don't capitalize the C. You have to make sure you spell that right or else it won't work. And then we want to update this to instead of being tabs, being accordions. So make sure you spell that right as well or else it won't work. Then we need to save this as a new version and activate it. And once that's done, we can just refresh this screen. And let's take a look at how it looks. So I'm going to configure the laptop pro bundle. And you can see that the summary fields should all be compact, even though it's still in the standard mode. But if I toggle this, you'll see that this will never change. It's going to stay in that nice view, but the child products and the product bundle will still toggle back and forth. And then to show you this part, instead of being tabs, we have it as an accordion now where you can collapse these and a little bit cleaner. And so to show that against the standard view, if we go to this basic bundle where we didn't change it and I configure it, you can see that it's still showing in tabs and the summary is still toggling back and forth. And so those are a few of the updates that you can make to make the product configuration screen a little bit more clean and uh, useful in Revenue Cloud. If you found this video at all useful, please like and subscribe and go to our channel and check out the other videos that we have up on how you can customize Revenue Cloud and Agent Force and just how you can automate your business as a whole. Appreciate it.